right, five and one third divided by one and two thirds. Remember, these are not improper fractions and we need them to be that way when we multiply or when we divide. Five and one third becomes 16 thirds. Don't say anything yet about CCF or KCF. We're leaving this as divided by. One and two thirds becomes five thirds. What's that you say? CCF? Oh yeah, copy, change, flip. Or if you have a challenge, this would be keep, change, flip. And what does that word flip mean? Reciprocal. All right, 16 thirds divided by five thirds. Keep, copy, whatever you want to call it. Change, flip. We can cross reduce here. These threes become one. 16 times one is 16. One times five is five. 16 fifths is really equal to five goes into 16. Three times, one left over. Three and one fifth. Here we go, here we go. Number 11, similar problem. Eight divided by four fifths. Well, we know right away we can make eight over one. Now it's just a matter of copy, change, flip. What does flip mean? Reciprocal. Okay, eight over one divided by four fifths. Keep, change, flip. Can we cross reduce it all? Yes, we can. That four becomes a one. That eight becomes a two. Two times five, that's ten. One times one, that's one. Ten over one equals ten. Number twelve. This one was top. The cook has a recipe that calls for two and one fourth cups of sugar. You don't know what that is? Draw a picture. Here we go. That's our two. That's our one fourth. He wants to cut the recipe in half. If we were to cut the recipe in half, literally what we'd do is we'd say, get out of here. We'd be left with just this, and we're going to take away a little bit from here. So we're going to be left with a little bit more than one. So what are we doing? We're really dividing this by two. Two, one fourth, divided by two. Make this number right here, two over one. Then we have to make this number right here an improper. Two times four is eight, plus one is nine. 9 fourths. Leave that division sign there. Don't do anything yet. Divided by 2 over 1. Now, do that thing that you were thinking of doing the whole time. 9 fourths times, flip this last one, 1 half. 9 times 1 is 9. 4 times 2 is 8. That's 9 eighths, which equals 1 and 1 eighth. What did we say at the beginning? We should have one and a little left over. We've got one and a little left over. 